I'm going to trim this up a little bit with a hammer stone and then see if I can take some big old flakes off with a cow bone. So. Just straighten up the edge. Gonna leave that ridge there. That might be good enough. A little bit of light grinding. Okay, I don't have much experience with this cow bone, but I'm going to give a few whacks on this and see if we can thin it down some. Here's a nice little piece that needs to go here. Wow. Look how big that flake was. Nice big thinning flake there. Let's see, I'll run this ridge a little bit here. Yeah. Okay, let's get this ridge here. Okay. Okay, let's take off some of this. Wow. Nice big thinnings like there. What a big thinning flake. That's a nice flake there. Nice thin flake. Okay, let's take off some mass here. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna fix this edge a little bit and try to take off some mass over here. Uh, be careful not to over grind when you're using bone. Keep back support with your hand or fingers, especially on end strikes like this. I'm going to run this ridge here a little bit. Okay. Okay. We've got a rough area here. I'm going to have to get rid of that. Okay, we need to run this ridge right here. Look at that. Nice. Nice flag. Okay, we have some mass right here. Let's see if we can get that off Ooh.
Just blasted that off there. Nice thin and flake. That was a really good thin and flake. I like any bopper that has a, a low density. I really like them. That's why I don't put weight in my copper boppers. Really tough edge right through there where the crust was. Nice flake. Wow. That's a nice thinning flake. That flake is super thin. Yeah. Okay, here's a ridge here. Come down that. Yeah. Whoa. What a nice thinning flight. Ooh. Look at that thin and flake. It's huge, huge thin and flake. Well, we've gotten a lot thinner. Well, that's a cow bone bopper. Nice big thinning flakes.